Today we're going to look at how to properly implement the Sems Weinstein monofilament test. Consisting of five different monofilaments of varying diameters, this helps determine a patient's threshold of sensation with regards to light touch. Progression seen here is from the smallest diameter to the largest diameter monofilaments. The proper way to open each wand is to twist the plastic piece exposing the monofilament, then tilt the cap to a 90 degree angle. To begin, rest the patient's extremity on a stable padded surface. Testing should be done in a quiet area to help the patient fully attend to the testing procedure. Next, occlude the patient's vision. Explain the testing procedure to the patient and instruct the patient to respond when the stimulus is felt by saying touch or yes. Nonverbal patients may tap the table lightly when a stimulus is felt. It is not necessary to test every area of the skin when performing an evaluation. Checks may be done over areas innervated by different nerves. For example, in this case, we are gonna test an area that is covered by the radial nerve, the dorsal radial aspect of the hand. When testing, press the filament at a 90 degree angle against the skin until it bows. Hold in place for 1.5 seconds and remove. You should apply the stimulus in the same location up to three times to elicit a response. A single response indicates a positive response. If the patient does not respond to the stimulus, choose the next largest monofilament and repeat the process. When the patient indicates a response, record the result using the colored pen or pencil that corresponds to the color on the monofilament handle. The chart you see here has both a volar and dorsal representation of the hand. Here you can notate your findings. The positioning of the patient on a padded surface such as a towel or putty is important to support the fingertips when using the larger monofilaments. As you can see here, when unsupported, the finger is depressed with the monofilament, which can sway the results of the exam. When properly supported on a towel or putty, you can apply pressure with the monofilament and no movement of the finger is noted. This chart demonstrates the cutaneous innervation of the hand. In the yellow, you can see the areas that are innervated by the ulnar nerve, in the orange, the median nerve, and then the pink, the radial nerve. One other thing to note is if the patient has any calluses or dry skin on their hands, these are not areas that are best to test because they would have decreased sensation. You'll want to mark those areas on your chart. This chart can be used to help interpret your findings. If your patient is found to have diminished or a loss of protective sensation, you can instruct them in accommodation techniques during activities of daily living to ensure safety with decreased sensation.